What's going on guys, Fuller here from Custom Offsets, Custom Offsets TV on the YouTube with John. He's our lead wheel designer for Archon and Anthem. He's super excited to be here. So uh, this is another episode of From the Gallery where we take your trucks that you've added to the gallery at customoffsets.com forward slash add and then we rate them because that's what you guys asked us to do so that's what we're going to do. So today we're doing a handful of trucks that are all uh, anywhere from 8 to 12 inches of lift is what I've been told. We haven't seen any of them so we're going to click into it and jump in. Starting off with 2016 GMC Yukon, an SUV. Uh, American Force 24 by 14s and then some Fury 38 by 15 and a halfs. Nice. And a 12 inch FTS lift. This thing's pretty huge. Yeah. Texas. Brushed gold figure. Brushed wheels. Don't see that often. No. And then like kind of gold, kind of orange looking in those wheels too. It's, it's, oh, it's like it's a like, copper ish. Yeah. Sort of copper, sort of yeah, rose no. gold. A little bit of bowl. All it's right. Different. So we're gonna try to do these really quick. So we just look at the photos and then pick a number. I'm gonna scroll, okay. No other details we need to know about. Got a number in your head? I think so. All right. Three, two, one, nine. Eight. 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 I almost did it at the same time. As oh, you can, that's fine. A little bit. Uh, I, I actually really like this. I think it's done pretty well. It's a relatively simple build, really. Um, yeah, I think but it looks like nice. Just enough of a nice pearl Touches. color on there. The brush wheels, I think, go well with it. He's got, it looks like maybe wet sound speakers or something underneath here. I don't know if you saw those, mm -hmm. but it's pretty sweet. And I, I do like SUVs. Some people, not a big fan, but I think they can look pretty good. Yeah, they're not very user friendly as far as driving experiences. No, no, yeah, they get kind of sketchy. <laughs> At least everyone sometimes. I've been in. Yeah, for sure. Once you go that big. Oh, the old Street Speed 717 machine, 05 Duramax. Uh, fuel forged wheels, and he's got the 375-45 middle trail grabs on there. It's on a 10-inch Cognito. This is my favorite photo. That's yeah. sweet. Just that's burnout, America, America. I, I like it. And that's kind of a cool back tailgate decal, too. Looks like he's got uh, taillights done, too. I think headlights. Yeah, it looks like maybe those are cubes in there. It's hard to see. That's I think he's got them built. It's got like the mix show truck slash tree runner slash. Yeah. He's got like the work bumper, but yet like more of a show style wheel and tire combo. Yeah, I mean like he could take it to the show and then drive around on the ranch. Like that's the true. Day. I kind of like the okay. color. I don't see a lot of trucks like pull off this color well, but I think he's got enough black on it to like it almost looks like a sand kind of color that they put on the new. Yeah, I don't know if that is like the pewter. It's, I it's think a, so. I feel like that's one of the most vastly produced uh, color that. Yeah, because they had like this, <laughs> this sort pickup. of like tanny gray, and then they had that other weird sort of bluish one. Yeah. Like blue teal looking. And they made a lot of, and I don't know why. It wasn't that popular of a color. But extended cab, usually I'd prefer this in a crew cab, but it doesn't look bad. All right, you got a number? I do. This is a tough one. Uh, three, two, one. Seven. Eight. Seven? Yeah. I'm going to go with the seven. I, I'm more of like a clean cat eye, sure. as they say. Yeah. The bumper's a little bit too much. So I off. think there's still a lot of work put into it. And yeah. I think it was nicely done for the style of truck it is. So. Yeah, I would like to see a crew cab rather than the extended cab. And then I do kind of like the more like off-roady style, but then he's got almost show wheels. So... I don't know. He really got a good theme with the body of the truck, with the bumpers front and rear and everything like that. But then the wheels just, you could have switched those up. But I dig it. He should come here and we should make some videos. Maybe jump it or something. 2012 Ram 2500, uh, American Force Legend, 22 by 14s, Nitto Trail Graps, 37 by 13 and a half, 8 inch FTS. Nice photos. For sure. We yeah. don't always get the best photos in the gallery, so we love when people have like real high quality professional pictures. I'm a huge fan of that color too. That like is this gun, a, gun this a mega cab or? too? Yeah, it she's is. big. This is huge. He doesn't even have his tow mirrors flipped out, John. Yeah, what I don't know. That's, that, he's not dodging it, I guess. <laughs> Custom candy apple red powder coat. FTS lift, no spacers, bodyguard bumpers, custom headlights. I'm usually not a big Ram fan, but I kind of like this one. I think, uh, not sure. The colors, I'm not sure if I like them. Yeah. Or don't like them. You know what I mean? It's like one of them, you're like, I think the more I look at it, yeah. the more I might like it. All right, you got a number? I do. All right, three, two, one, eight. eight. Yeah. yeah, so the colors was my thing too. I, I feel like it would have looked equally as good, maybe better if it was just black too, you know? Yeah, um, or even even a chrome on that color, that slight, uh, I, I don't know what you call it, gunmetal gray. Yeah. Um, 
looks good as charcoal well. Charcoal gray. Charcoal gray. You can go that route too. But the orangish red, is, I'm just not, I'm not feeling that too much. Yeah, I don't think I would do the red. I think I would just do black. I wouldn't do chrome. I'm surprised you said that. I would. Yeah, I'm not a chrome guy, as you know. Everything I yeah. own is black. Black. Top. Completely black. Yeah. Top. Everything. I, mean, I like the grill too. Uh, it's just like simple, you know, paint to match like the shroud, but then none of the big ram letters in the center of it. Yeah. He did it right. Oh yeah. 2012. Chevy Silverado, 2500, Hostile Demons, uh, and Nitro Trail Graps, 375 40s, popular tire today. Megoy suspension lift, uh, eight inch lift there. He's got so, the SEMA skull too, yeah. the Hostile yep. SEMA skull. So it's a seven to nine Megoy set at eight inches. He's got a train horn, custom bumpers. That bumper is like massive, look how big it looks. Overkill fab to the grill, lots of green going on. I don't know, I'm not so sure about the mesh. The big honeycomb, like yeah, uh, and he's got it. Almost looks like the same flag decal as that street speed truck. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that bumper's huge. What is this? You got like a little like extra little push bar and some spiky uh, things on there. I don't know what you do with that. It's like a tow hook, but not. Lots of rock lights. You should like that, John. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> definitely. Uh, painted headlights, painted mirrors, a lot of a lot of paint to match. But the lime green, man, I thought that went out in like. Well, it's a 2012. Maybe built in 2012. Ish. Yeah. All right. Uh, ready? Yep. Three, two, one, five. 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 Yeah, I'm sorry. I just... Yeah, I went down to a seven and I almost feel bad because... It... So like in 2012, I think this truck would have been hot. But For sure. Right now in 2019, it's a, it's a seven or it... maybe a little bit lower, but it's just um, that green on the white is a bit too much. And then he's got the black decal, purple wheel lights going on, but then a bright green H for the hostile. Um, logo that's on the side yeah, of the truck. It's, it's definitely too much for me. I'm a simple guy, but and I respect when people put work into it. Yeah. So I maybe maybe I was a little bit <laughs> aggressive with the five, but I still it's 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 too much of all kinds yeah. of stuff going on. Because like I think white builds can be done really nice, cleanly for sure. But then yeah. like throwing this bumper on isn't. And it, I wouldn't call it clean. And it takes the right color, although white matches a lot of colors, you yeah. still need to make sure it looks, I don't, it, to me that just sticks out way too much and it's like. Yeah, because he, he's got white, he's got green, he's got purple, black wheels, but then milling on the wheels too. If whereas his like, objective was to have everybody look at the suspension, he nailed it. Because yeah, that's absolutely. all I can see when I look yeah. at that truck. <laughs> well, I think it helps with all the rock lights under there too, really light that thing. Yeah, so. no doubt, for sure. I feel like I've done this one before. 2016 Chevy Silverado 2500. RBP Avengers, RBP tires, and a 12 inch McGoys. And holy powder color. Yeah. Look at the front end of that. It's just everything looks like it's this maroon color. I don't know, possibly uh, Iron Cross grill, maybe. This is definitely a SEMA truck, considering I can see it parked outside the SEMA Convention Center. Yeah, definitely quality. Oh, area. shaved tailgate. I didn't realize it at first, but he doesn't even have the handle sure. or anything. No. Got oh, Fusion. Fusion bumper. Kit, maybe. Possible. It's got twin turbos. Banks intercooler, stereo system, powder coated suspension, custom paint, shave tailgate, trim fender, shave fuel door. So you got a popper there too. Fusion bumpers, royalty core grill, headlights, horn, uh, train horns. I uh, even mentioned he's got a radar detector. Edge monitor, switch pro light, horn control, five inch exhaust, ATS diff cover. So every single thing has been changed on this truck. Built to the max, as they say. Wow, there's a lot of red going on. There's a lot of red. I think it, well, it might be a little purple. It's like maroonish. Or two. Yeah. Wow. Definitely a lot of paint work. There's a ton. Like everything's paint and powder. Like bolts. Yeah. <laughs> I love the color of the truck. Oh, yeah. and then the wheels. Are, are they, so they're black faces with that maroon barrel. Yep. Okay. It must be like a candy because in the one picture they, they almost can't yep. even see the color. Wow, so much, so much paint and powder coat work. I gotta get an overall view of the truck again. All right. All right, you ready? Sure. Three, two, one, nine. Eight. I went a little bit lower on this one just because like, I don't like the dual exhaust uh, on here. I think it looks kind of yeah, strange. Yeah, for a diesel, that's a little yeah. bit. But everything else is pretty sweet on here. The stickers on the side went a little overboard, but I'm sure that's like- get those sponsors, bro. I know, I get it. It's a sponsorship thing. So maybe they're not on there anymore, but at least they were for SEMA. But I think like, all the shave stuff is really cool. That's yeah. like that's like going above and beyond. It's not your typical build. Like there's a whole bunch of body work involved and getting everything to work with the electronic like door poppers and stuff like that. So that's kind of cool. 
Um, yeah, I like the color, the color combination, I think. Mm -hmm. I, I would have probably gave it a 10 if it weren't for the bumper. Really? Yeah, I, it's a little bit aggressive. You know, that bumper on the front just looks really flat too. It's just like yeah, it, yeah, in your face. Exactly, I mean, it's oversized in my you know opinion and it just doesn't fit like, I don't know. But like I said, it, I, it's for sure nine in my book. Yeah, it's it definitely wouldn't. sweet. I think it's awesome but there's a couple things I'd tweak if it was mine. So if you guys want your vehicles rated, you can add them at customhousesets.com forward slash add, like I mentioned in the beginning. Otherwise, if you don't know what the gallery's for, as you can see, we know all the specs because people add them and they share their specs with us. So it helps you guys figure out what fits your vehicle. So if you guys have any questions on wheels, tire suspension, that's kind of what we do. You can drop those in the comments below. Otherwise, just check out the website, customhousesets.com. I think that's it. Peace.